So this question has been bouncing around Quora for some time now, and I'm going to answer it by showing you what you can and can't do. And the question is this, how can I discover who is the owner of a Google form that's being sent around? So here's a form I've created. Very simple form. I, I just follow the basic Google form practices to create the form. And by the way, nowhere on this form did I put my name. And again, I'm logged in as BurrisConsultant at gmail.com with the, you know, with the name BCI Testing. Okay, that's what I, that's who created this form is BCI Testing with that email address. But it's nowhere on here. Now I'm going to share this. So I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab the URL. Now, if I email it, that's one thing. If I email it directly from here, send by email, and I send this to uh, Lee at Burris Consulting, and I hit send. Now, let me go look at that email address. So here's the email I got. And so I can very clearly, because it was emailed to me, I can see that it came from Burris Consulting at gmail.com. So I'm clear about that because it was emailed to me. But let's say it's not emailed. Let's try another way. Let's say all we did was send it, and we sent it via the link, grab the shortened link, doesn't make a difference, short or long. Well, let's not do shorten, let's do the long link. Okay, I do the long link and I copy. Now I'm gonna go open that up, so anywhere. I'm gonna go open into an incognito window, and this is someone sent me this link. Someone sent me this Google form. Nowhere in here does it tell me who owns this form. I'm looking at the whole form. It's not in the URL. It's got that you know nondescript set of characters that, that represents the URL for this form. It's not in the header, not in any of the questions. It's not at the very bottom. Even if I hover over submit, it doesn't tell me anything. The hover over re report abuse, there's nothing in the URL. Hang on, I'm looking. Terms of services is not there. Privacy is not there. Clear form is not there. What's this little exclamation? This is uh, having a problem. No, it's not there. Let's try a trick. One more little trick. Okay, let's, uh, who are you? I'm Teddy, federal crime. You know, I killed a dust bunny. When did this happen? Last week. Who do you think was impacted? Other dust bunnies. Are you willing to discuss with authorities? Yes. Now what happens when I hit submit? It submitted it. But even on this page, there's nothing here. There's nothing here other than opens the form back up again to tell me who owns this Google form. Doesn't didn't happen. Now, there is one other possibility. One other possibility if I go to settings. And I do responses, collect email addresses, send them a, a copy back, always. Now I'm going to go uh, send this again, just to make sure it's not a new link. Uh, copy the link. I'm going to open it up. Incognito. Paste that. Now, it's asking for my email address now. Lee at Burris Consulting. Dot com. Who the heck are you? I'm Teddy. I have a federal crime. When did this? What is specific crime? Nada. Just for the sake of typing. Nada. Data. Yes. Submit. Now, because I chose that form to send the person who fills it out a copy, let's go see what the copy looks like. Google Forms. But look, even. The a message I got with the results, with, with the data I put in there, there's no, doesn't tell me who it came from. It does nowhere in here does it tell me who it came from. It came from Google Forms. It, nowhere in here is the, I'm expecting to see the email address, burrisconsulting at gmail.com or BCI testing, it's not there. Bottom line, I just tested all the different scenarios that I could test. Unless the user emails you the Google form where you'll get their email address. You, and, or they put their information in the form somewhere as text. You are not going to know 
who this Google form came from. There's no way to determine that at all. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach.